Hello, welcome to a new series of E3D tutorials. For this series, we are going to use E3D 3.1. If you have not upgraded to E3D 3.1, this might be a good time to see what are the changes in E3D 3.1. The tutorial is about creating reports using the search feature in E3D. We select the search from the home tab. You can see that right at the top, you have a slightly different interface. In the element type, you still can input the element like what we did before, like equipment, nozzle. But there's also a button there for you to actually select the type of element. You can filter the types of element that you want. For example, design, and you can choose a subtype. With this new form, you can explore more elements than you have known before. So, we have a new icon to search and you can see that we have actually extracted all the equipment from the current element. Next, we look at the filters. This allows you to actually decide to put filter let's say with name containing P's. So we have extracted the equipment starting with P or has P in their tag. The freeform filter is still available. You can use PML like Matchwa to actually get a filter for names that starts with P and has an A in them as well. Once we finish the filter, we click on the magnifying glass and the output will be updated. The volume filter allows you to actually filter the hierarchy within a certain volume, fiscal volume. The manage searches allow you to save the searches that you have set up. You can save it locally with the project or the installation. If you recall one of the searches, you can see the settings of the searches as well as the result of the search. Let's remove the filter and do a search again. Now we get more data from our search. And we can serve this search to the local settings. Now let's look at what we can do with the results from our search. First, we'll look at the column setup. We can add additional column or we can add all the standard attributes. We can decide which attributes needs to be visible. We can also include pseudo attribute or user defined attributes by using the expression and the heading.
we use the up down arrow key to actually adjust the sequence of our column. We can adjust the sorting order of the columns. Let's make a report of these search results. We can then export the report to Excel, CSV, HTML or other formats that you need. There you go, our report in Excel. Hope you like this tutorial and we hope to see you again soon. Bye.